is it this person over here? Where are they? I'm gonna lose some houses along the way. Oh, was that a rock? Darn it. Hello everybody, my name is Biffa and today we're gonna be diving into fixing traffic before it starts. So we have a vanilla city here, no mods at all, and we're gonna show how we can be ready to face the traffic that is coming our way. There are a few hot spots in the city which uh, I wanna take a look at. We can see a big red area right through our couplet through the middle here and over our intersection with the highway there and our intersection with the highway this way now it's not too bad it's moving our percentage is let's take a quick look 92 percent so you might be thinking well you always aim for 80 percent and anything above that is fine that is true um if you're playing with mods that is a perfectly respectable uh, amount to aim for and just to clarify i mean mods as in your user and traffic manager with despawning turned off so it is extra super hard um, but I'm thinking ahead here. We are going to be continuing to expand our city out into this area. This road's going to continue round past this little bluff into this area. We're going to expand over here. So we are going to be building up our infrastructure a lot to cope with all of that. So we're going to look at how we can connect our city a little bit more. Because at the moment, a lot of people coming down this road are coming from over here. Let's use the in-game tool. We're going to analyze a couple of little areas to help us out so this junction here does get quite busy although it's not that busy at the moment and if we put all of these on again we can see that it's super busy but already you can see most of it is purple which is the private vehicles and they're coming from over this way or they're coming from down the highway they're meeting in the middle here and then heading through to this new area or some are heading further on so we want to help out with that now unfortunately because this is vanilla we are getting we're not getting dedicated turning lanes we're getting lanes that have a straight on and the left all built in and there's not much we can do with that now i could replace this with a three lane road and you'd get two straight on and then one that was left and straight on might help out a little bit but this is a trolley bus that runs up and down here and we can't do that and trolley buses don't have a dedicated trolley bus only road like the trams do um, just a track what we could use is the sandstone pedestrian or we've got the other type of uh, pedestrian roads that are just walkable and trolley bus wires but we'd need to unlock those so we need to construct a small pedestrian area service point we don't actually have a pedestrian area just yet so what i'm going to do just to unlock that and give us the options i'm going to build that out here like so I'm going to pop a little pedestrian area in there. I'm then going to go into this one here, pop in a pedestrian area service point. Boink, there we go. That unlocks a load of stuff. And then I'm going to just turn that off because we don't need that. So let's see whether this is going to help. Now, this is going to be difficult trying to squeeze this in. I'm thinking of going for got the cobblestone, the blue stone. Let's just see what that looks like against there yeah so if i can get this into there which i can't that would have been fantastic and it's also going to cut across these roads let's just pop this down here yeah now see that's added this in i could pop a little up and over with this and i don't know whether i want to do that or not because then the idea was then we don't have to have trolley bus wires here we could then go for a standard three lane road we'll just change that yeah there we go so you get a dedicated straight on a dedicated right unfortunately you don't get the dedicated left but that might help a little bit could i still pop in a connecting road where did i have it before i think it was here wasn't it let's just see if we can still pop in this connected road down here i think it was the four lane road wasn't it is that going to be enough space slope to steep seriously that is like the flattest piece of road that i've ever seen so what we're going to do is we're going to take it to there then we're going to see if we can attach these into that node and it's not going to let us darn it okay okay we might just need to rethink this a little bit let me see if i can find out a way of getting this connected up what's weird is i can do it with the industrial road oh not the four lane one i can do it with the industrial four lane road it'll let me do it with that one but i try and do it with the normal four lane road and it says no 
absolutely no reason at all why that should be the case but there we go so that's what it's going to be um i might just keep this now as what am i looking for here two you three lane this one here there we go we can see our trolley bus is getting very upset but you know we'll work on that in a moment and then we've got to see how we can get this connected up into this section here this is going to be the fun part i'm going to take those two out uh, that i think is going to draw straight into here no problem so then it's getting this three lane road out to connect either side and i'm hoping if i just do that it's going to go in oh mamma mia it did oh look at that that is exactly what we want fantastic let me just do the other side as well. Right, so now the trolley buses are separated. We've got this extra walking path down here as well, which is good. Extra lanes on the outside. I'm also going to use the in-game tool to remove that. And hopefully that will work okay. I'm going to do the same over here. Then we need to move our trolley bus stops. And do you know what? If I had actually thought of that, I could have done it originally. Because now it's not going to let me move them which is rather annoying i'm gonna to have to delete the line and redraw it in again so let me just do that and this is what happens when you move a stop from one side to the other all the people cross over right so that should be okay i've had to put a little turnaround um over here so the trolley buses can go back again and then i think we just need to delete the other stop let's go into here uh line number one that is oh look at that line number one has jumped over Okay, it's going, and then this is becoming line number one. <laughs> Thank you very much. Stop trying to mess with what I'm doing. And that was sort of a green color, wasn't it? There we go. Okay, I'll double check that in a moment. That's all working. Good. Okay, so that's freed up our little junction at either end. Freed up this road, given us more lanes. So hopefully that will help, and the crossing's over won't be too much of an issue. This is still a little bit slow. I'll tell you what it is here is the game in vanilla you can't force these to go through they are checking because these are really close together whether it's free probably all the way across before they go so this little short bit here is probably a really bad idea so i'm gonna have to change this up i am gonna change it to this right a few changes everyone's thinking about what they're doing excellent buses are going down here as well which is going to help with the traffic which is good so we've got a raised section over these roads which will help and the little drop down section as well so we can add some walking paths in uh, what i'm going to use is let's just take a look at our walking and biking paths because these are going to really help so the bicycle paths are good for for biking only bikes are allowed on them the walking paths offer access to pedestrians and i'm pretty sure people will bike on those as well from time to time we could just use a nice pave let's just turn off this here okay there we go paths down the side as well they hook in at the ends here and they also hook in at the crossroads here um if they don't hook in at the middle which i'll keep an eye on i think if you upgrade or downgrade one of the pieces or something different it will do i'll keep an eye on that but that's now taken the trolley buses and the buses off of our main road which will be good i'd like to upgrade this through here um, to a six lane road with a median that's a four lane six lane road with median and trolley bus wires which will give us a little bit of extra capacity through this big section here oh there we go yeah got to the end and realized we've got the turnaround there that was probably what that was for but yeah we'll go with the six lane we can always change that if we need to um this little one here i'd like to upgrade that to a three lane as well just to give some extra options we're going to do the same there although we can't turn off straight on unfortunately which is a bit of a pain i'm wondering whether to add a stop sign here although you do that sort of thing like that and it causes more problems because they never get out let's just keep an eye on it for a second and they're all using the one lane <laughs> to go right, which is a right flipping pain. Yeah, look, traffic backing up, backing up all the way down there. So what I'm going to do instead is change that to a stop light, a traffic light. And hopefully that will be a little bit better. They'll all get a chance to go. Let's give it a couple of iterations. 
basically, we've got like a dedicated left and right, and no one's using the middle one for straight on because obviously the highway is quicker. But it just is that weird vanilla thing where just having them bumble through without any help is usually quicker than adding a stoplight or a traffic light. I don't think this traffic's going to go down, is it? Let me just give it a minute. To be honest, it's not much better. I've taken them both away. We've just got everybody fending for themselves in the middle. I have upgraded this to a three-lane road. and every, Is it three-lane or four-lane? Four-lane. And every now and again, we'll get somebody using this one here to turn down this road which is good that helps but the overall need is for an easy way to get into here because this is people coming from outside so i'm just wondering whether a little slip road coming through into that area there might just take away all the bunching up that we've got and even if it's just a very small little slip road i think that might just take the weight off of that one up there so let's just see what we can pop in here and it's going to go underground, say, here. There we go, a little underground road there. I'm going to upgrade this to a four-lane. So we get the dedicated lane for coming off, which is good. And then when it gets to the NT, we've got a two-lane. So you can go a left and a right. And we've got no stop sign. So hopefully what I'm seeing is not a huge amount of traffic coming up here. But just enough that it's going to spread out. There we go. And what we don't want is people cutting through that are going to businesses, which we can check if that's happening with our in-game tool, which is always very helpful for that sort of stuff. So let's pick that. So everybody's coming in, they're all delivering here. I mean, that one person's coming up there, but overall that is definitely much better. And that already that's taken away from there. I don't think that's a, a bad little addition. Right, so the next thing we want to do is we want to get walkability and bikeability in this city. We do not have much of that at all. And I want to get a connection between these two and look at the metro. Now, unfortunately, we've made our couplet here with these uh, two-lane one-way roads with the trolleybus wires. There isn't a version of that with bicycle lanes. We're in vanilla. We can't do that. But what we could do is sort of step back from the couplet and make one of the adjoining roads a bicycle road which is good let's just stop that from emptying thank you kindly so i was thinking this one that adjoins here and then we can have the road that goes across although that is a darn it that is a trolley bus road as well all right we'll come back to our <laughs> connections in a minute and see what we can do so if we go into our bike i mean these are just standard roads here we could even two lane road with median trees and bicycle lanes we could sort of spruce them up a bit I'm thinking from here we could just have a bicycle path coming through there. So let's just add that on just so we don't forget it's there. Unfortunately, it means destroying this house. Height of realism, but there we go. And if we sort of swing that, there we go, turn off my snapping along the back here, then we can head out somewhere else. So that gets you through here. There we go. And then the other side as well. Let's have a look. We get down to this park. So again, we could do the same with this road down here. Let me just do that. Excellent. I'd like to get then our bike lanes connected up and over the top of this road junction here. So let's do a little bridge here, I think. We're gonna go straight, pop all the snap twos on. One, two, three, I think we'll have to go. Yeah, from here to there. I wonder if I can get away with a height of two. Let's go down one. No, definitely gotta be three. I was right first time. There we go, excellent. And then really, we've only got to sort of get down to here because I'm going to have another little bridge. Let's turn off our road guidelines across there. That's it. And then if we can just connect that up with this over here, like so. There we go, wiggling amongst the trees. That now connects over there, which is good. And then this one here could just connect. If we change... Actually, I don't want to change that to a bike path. We'll leave it as it is. But this should be able to just hook into there. There we go. Excellent. So now we've got access to this road and then we could upgrade. Yeah, let's upgrade this one here as well. Um, we'll go back for the trees. Why not? So it comes down to the end. We could take in... So that's an asymmetric road. Do we have an asymmetric? Uh, what am I in? Oh, hang on. Let's have a look in here. Asymmetric with bikes. No, we don't. So actually, I might just bring that to the end there 
and then that gives you access to all of this area I mean, we could just run even a bike path down the side here couldn't we there we go so then you get in here and yeah excellent i think that'll be good enough for there and then we just need to connect this one up to it as well excellent and that's it you've got all the access there brilliant so then if we come all the way down oh actually getting from one side to the other from one bike lane to the other could we do that somehow where we haven't got trolley bus wise we can we can grab this and if we go a little bit further down we've got this connection here that's got trolley bus wires yeah i think that'll probably have to do so now it's getting across to the other side so how are we going to add bike infrastructure into night owl heights yeah i'm thinking of a slight change here rather than having this through here although we might add some sort of park uh path park path through there at some point Two lane grass green device. I'm going to take that one and upgrade these down here. So slightly different. And then we're heading out into this way, which is a larger connecting road. So oh, do I want to go six lane road? Do we not have four lane? We do. And we're going to lose some houses along the way. Oh, was that a rock? Darn it. And we're going to get that across there, that across there. And yeah, this is going to be embiggened as well up to that junction. So that gets bikes all the way down to there. Are you going to be hit for power? You are. Let's get across there, connect you up. Excellent. So bikes can now come all the way down to here. And then we could go back to the smaller bike lane road again. And then I'm thinking we could just bring a bike path up here somewhere. There we go. So that brings us into this area. And I am just wondering whether we could even go through here and add a couple of bike roads all the way through, couldn't we? So let me do the same again. All the ones with the trees are going to become bike roads. There we go. So these green roads going from uh, right to left, they're all bike roads. And most of the ones coming this way have got, got bike lanes on there as well. So we could add a couple of other little connections, but that will do for now. I'm not sure whether I want a bike bridge all the way over here i mean we god you know what i mean why not let's let's add let's add one on because people are going to use it aren't they so if we can get that nice and close to here that would just be great like that and then all we've got to do is try and get that across to the other side somehow and sneak that in would i be able to if i turn off all my snapping squeeze on past this car park no so that car park's going to go Sorry, folks, that gives us a little bit more room. And then I've just got to get over the top of here, so that shouldn't be too difficult. There we go. And then we'll come back and see how many people are using that to get from this side across to here. And now they can get all the way down here, all the way up there. They can connect to all of this area and get all the way across the other side. I do love a good bike highway network. And literally five seconds later, I've used the in-game tool to pick this bridge. And there's already somebody coming all the way over here, all the way down here, uh, all the way around here, coming down past a little service point that we're not using, all the way down this road we've just upgraded, across the highway, down this road we've upgraded, all the way through the middle here. If I can find this person, we'll follow them. Cutting across to the other side of the couplet. Here we go, past the park looks like it's the same one going up and over the top is it this person over here where are they or is it these i oh, know they're walking anyway we could see somebody was going from one side of the whole city to the other so that is absolutely brilliant let's just see how things are going with the traffic so if we have a look at this junction here much much better not backing up at all this is freed up all the way along here look at that red could it's busy but it's not causing too many issues. This one over here, red because it's busy. And then the rest of it, not too built up. So not doing too bad. Brilliant. So now I'd like to add Metro to help people get from one side to the other. Now, what I don't want to do is just spam Metro. Metro, 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 Metro. I want to think, well, where would a Metro be uh, to help you get around the city? Now, we know this is a very big built up area. So definitely a metro in here and this is like a big shopping center plaza area so this would most definitely have a metro in uh, we've got a few buildings that are not very um, uh, very happy yeah we'll get rid of those 
So it might be that we're going to end up putting a metro just through here somewhere out the front. Um, if I can just delete that path. And then also thinking about where might this be going later. Well, we're talking about having our downtown, a nice big built-up area over here. So maybe this needs to be one of those metro stations that's got like, the multiple line type thing going on it. Like one of these large underground metro stations. How is that going to look? Is that going to stand out? Not really. I mean, it's backing right onto this sort of park area. But there is a lot going on here. And we've got the shop right opposite so if i pop that in oh that looks fine doesn't it excellent so that one's going to go there and then the next one i want to hit this area here somewhere and i'm just sort of thinking where i mean we've got like our schools here which people are going to want to get to and then we've got this shopping area over here with this park so somewhere sort of in the middle and i'm thinking here and then they can easily walk get into both of these areas and we can increase the walkability as well so this corner here is crying out to me for maybe let's put this one back on the parallel underground is that going to be too much we're literally going to have one route coming through here so i think our normal little metro on the corner yeah we can spruce that up and that will cover this area and then when we get down here again we've got the business part but it's serviced very well by our trolley buses so I'm just thinking where we've got this little trolley bus, little stop turnaround area that we made that I'm frantically hunting for. <laughs> I can't find it anywhere. It is this, isn't it? Yeah, this is it here where they come through. If we could fit one in here. Oh, that's a shame. That's going to like mess up what we've done there with a the little gazebo and stuff. Um, Could I put it against this road at the side? Hmm put it on the main road oh we could put it on the back road there we go excellent so that's it i think that would be absolutely plenty uh, metro line tool we need to actually put the metro line in okay let me hook these up hmm, unfortunately this one because it gets so deep down here it's not liking it which is a bit of a pain could I, even if I move it along that way, it's still going to have the same problem, isn't it? Darn it. I'm just wondering whether I could curve this around a bit and get it to drop down. That's probably as much down as it's going to go. Will that get past here? Turns out there's like a bottomless trench down here, which is why we can't get low enough to make this cross. So oh, I'm going to do one of those things where I'm going to take this height over here. We're going to pause the game. And I'm going to see if I can build this up. Let's see how that works. Oh, 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 oh. I think that's going to work, isn't it? Oh, there we go. Excellent. And then hopefully that's all okay. We can sort of just smooth this out a bit. Back out there. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. Very good, very good. So let's add in our stop. So we're going to go from... Bradley Heights to near Deep Plaza. Then we're going to go over here. Then we're going to go back again. And that is probably going to be it. Just that one line backwards and forwards. There we go. I'm going to call that. Oh, I'll tell you what I'm going to call that. I'm going to get a name of one of my sponsors. And as a thank you, I'm going to name my Metro line. It's going to be called the Big Rubber Ducky Loop. There we go. Excellent. Thank you very much for your support on Patreon. I do really, really appreciate that. And what have we got on here? We've got two trains, and we've already got all of these people waiting on here. That's 150 capacity. I might just go for these ones with the 240, which means they're all going to get kicked off. And I'm going to add up to four on there and see how that just goes keeping up. So let me run that for a couple of loops. What I want is the trains nicely spread out. I want to make sure nobody's waiting too long. So as they come by and they get picked up, so that one's already full up. And then we're keeping to a low enough count on here. And we've got enough capacity. Because now you get charged more for the larger capacity trains and metros and all that sort of thing. You want to make sure you're not um, having too much capacity. Too big a trains. And that is just going great, isn't it? Look at that. They're definitely keeping on top of that. That is brilliant. Look how many people are doing it. Car trip saved 72%. That is great. From what I understand, that means those that would have taken this journey decided to do this instead of a car. Or 72% of them. So, 
Oh, that is brilliant. That is really, really good. And our buses. Just want to check how these are all doing as well. Zoink. So, yeah, this one isn't being kept up with. So, this little biofuel bus might just need to be upgraded. That's the 40. Or we could add some more on. Do I want to go full on articulated? Let's just have a look down here. Oh, yeah, man, there's so many people waiting there. Good grief. Where is it they all want to go? Uh, let's just go back to here. That is the ferry shuttle, isn't it? So they're going up here. Oh, they're going over there backwards and forwards. Okay, yeah. I think we're going to just add some extra, extra vehicles on there. Let's up that to... Let's double it to six and see how that goes. Uh, this one over here... What? Deep, deep shuttle. I just looked at the same thing twice. Oh, man, there's like loads of people waiting on this one as well. Good grief. Loads of people. So this little shuttle is not up to the capacity. Double-decker bus. Hmm. Let's go full-on double-decker bus. And I'm going to up that to four. And we'll see how that goes. We might need to adjust those a little bit. And then also our trolley buses. So we've got this line over here where there's so many people waiting. There. For getting in and out. Good grief. We're going to definitely have to up that one where are we trolley buses number one so what trolley bus do we have we have a trolley bus capacity of 30 got the articulated at 75 we'd straight up to the larger yeah i think we're gonna have to do that let's go for the 75 on there and that's at a 10 let's drop that down to seven six it has to be an even number otherwise i'll twitch uh trolley bus line number two is doing okay that's a 90 and it's not that filled on most of it i'll be honest so we probably could drop that down from a 90 to the 75 and that'll be okay and then trolley bus number three clickety click we've got loads on there and there's hardly anybody using it so we're going to drop that one down so once you've done uh, we're going to drop that down to the 75, 55. That's the one we're going to do. Excellent. So once you've, once you've made a load of changes to your city, you then need to go through and check your other mass transit because it all sorts of, you know, balances itself out in different ways. Yeah, so now we've made all these changes. I'm just going to let it run for a bit. We've got all these new buses and things coming out down here as well, which isn't going to help, is it? So, and then we'll come back and check how everything is going in a moment. Oh, I've been running the game, tweaking my levels of vehicles on my different mass transit options, and we suddenly hit 28,000, which is great. Another square to unlock, which I want to do in the next episode when we make a totally different town, but some other cool items here as well. Excellent. Okay, so I've been trying a few different things. This couplet down here was getting super backed up because vehicles are coming in this way, and then if they wanted to get onto this side where all the industry is, they're all queuing up to cross over under here. And as you can see, I've removed the crossroads or the roads that went across all the way along this couplet here. And it sped things up nicely. So now if people want to get to the other side, they go all the way to the end, do a little UE down there and come back up the other side. And it's keeping things flowing, as you can see, rather nicely. And this has the added benefit that we can also take our paths that are along here. There we go. And I'm hoping... Oh, can I do that? There's a flipping tunnel there, isn't there? Can I... <laughs> can I do this? And go, like, through the centre there. Actually, if I did that... 
There we go. So they can get from one side to the other. Excellent. So if we do that, which one was that going? That direction. And then we'll do... I've lost where I am. Here we go. Do this one going in the other direction. Everybody gets the ability to get across. There we go. From now, one side to the other. Oh, we've got another one over here. There we go. Excellent. That's it. One, two, and three. Yeah, very good. So, yeah, hopefully that is going to help with that. Our trolley buses and everything. I mean, what's the traffic at now? 90%. I mean, it's I've just literally just changed the amount of trolley buses that we've got coming in and out. Um, and I've adjusted some of these up a bit as well. So these are now the model that have the 90 in there because so many people are using them. I think that one's still the 55. Yeah, that's not too busy. Uh, the buses I've increased as well, particularly the ferry shuttle was getting very, very full. And then the metro, I've added one more in, but that is basically being kept on top of. So as it stands at the moment, things aren't going too bad. And then, of course, there's other things we can do to encourage biking in our city. So if we jump into here, we're going to tick encourage biking, which is good. I don't think there's anything else that we need to mess with down here at the moment. All boost connections, that's always a good one. Tax, we're going to leave OK. Services, I'm going to give a boost to parks. Increase the budget by 20%. We're making plenty of money, and that'll be OK. I'm not going to do free public transport. Um, high ticket, prefer ferries prefer parks park maintenance boost each pound a park maintenance building yeah why not we're going to give free wi-fi as well because i don't think we have too much postage work going on in here and all of that is just going to make our people happier and hopefully continue to increase the growth in our city as well and let's check how all of this has affected the uh, amount of cyclists in our city so here we go down here wow you can see there's a huge jump with all the work that we've done 732.5526 don't want to know what happened to that 0.5526 but anyway and then it sort of leveled out a bit as we added more mass transit but a huge jump from around 105 to 6 732 wasn't it so oh yeah that is seven times the amount almost of cyclists in our city which is all those people off of the roads and i'm also going to make one more change to our metro setup we've got so many people queuing down here somewhere for our buses yeah look so many of them and it's hard to sort of see where they're going shops tennis courts oh okay you're going for a walk Bruce enterprises yeah a lot of these people are heading in this direction over here and there's a metro over here and i think why aren't they taking that and it just seems it's close enough but I reckon we could add a little loop up here and add another metro in this area, which would take away a lot of those people. And, oh, just noticed. Look at that. All of our industry buildings have upgraded again to the nice modern looking one. We haven't got those brick ones anymore along there. That's a shame. I like the brick ones. I thought I'd mark them all as historical, but I haven't. But, you know, as I'm looking at him, and that's the way it is. Mulberry Heights, yeah, Industrial Evolution. Yeah, I don't mind. We'll keep those there. And it's got nice colour on the back as well. Okay, so I'm thinking a metro on this side to encourage all of those that are obviously coming from their workplaces to get this instead. So if we go that way around there, and then I'm just going to draw this up and hook it in. So what I'm going to do to give us more space, I'm going to move this over here facing that way excellent hopefully our stops will all connect up a bit nearer to this setup over here which is good um, and then i'll just run that rail up and around and join into this one and there we go we've got the other stop at the top that's not too bad is it excellent so i'm going to let this run a little bit and see whether we get less people queuing up here and more people using the metro which is what i'm hoping for Um, I think these people are stuck, you know. There isn't actually a stop here. Um, let me just put the trolley bus number three on. Yeah, it's that one. Look, it's over here. It's nowhere near that. So I'm thinking they're, they're all just stuck there um, and they're never going to go anywhere. I might just try and manipulate this by deleting this stop and see whether they... Ah, oh, they were attached to that stop. Now they're all walking away. If I put that stop back in again, and the same with these people down here, if I remove that stop, there we go, they were attached to that stop. Now I put the stop back in again. 
Now we can see the people running everywhere. They're going... Where are they going? They're, like, heading up here to the next stop. What about the metro? There's a lovely metro over there, which I've switched to have it coming off of this road back here instead of off the main road. So when they get in and out of their cars, oh, loads are coming here. It's on this side road. So that works a lot better. So a load of people did come here. But the rest ran up here to be near, nearly on the stops that are up here, but sort of nearby. Is that a known thing in vanilla? <laughs> I knew nothing about. We've got the other stops down here. Okay, so maybe over time, now they've had their counter reset, they will use the options available, but they won't all crowd up down here so much, which is good because I was adding, oh my goodness, so many. Come on, get out of the pool screen. Thank you very much. I was adding so many. We've got 15 vehicles on here because I thought none of them could keep up with what was going on. There we go. That's the ones that just ran over here. So I can probably drop this down and I think that'll probably fix it and once again i've been going through all my lines balancing them dropping down the amount of vehicles or the size of the vehicles if needed and here we are over in this section right by the two hotels that we set up a while ago and the trolley bus stop that we had here was just getting totally overloaded um so what i've done is i've expanded our metro to come a little bit further into meta heights because there was a lot of people nearly ten thousand, living in this area and as we can see people are loving the use of the metro as well and they're still using the trolley bus which is nice to see and i've just popped it back here off of a side road because of this issue here with the pocket cars which will no longer have that issue in city skylines 2 which is going to be brilliant oh look at that look how busy it is oh that is fantastic so many purple people are these purple people all tourists i think they are you know let's have a look uneducated business tourist yeah unemployed okay well thanks for coming and spending your money here unemployed let's have a look at here works at the law firm it's just a lot of purple tourists oh that was a tourist that last one coordinator at master architect unemployed okay maybe purple is the color that people love to wear on that line so why don't we do a little bit of a before and after comparison so looking at the trans transport uh, list before we had 1060 a week using the transportation 227 per week tourists and then after that has shot up 1269 per week residents using our transport our mass transit but tourists we saw so many 670 per week and we know that they bring along with them lots of spending money as well which is fantastic so a nice huge boost there which i can't complain about and then our cyclists before i went back and had a look was 182 just before we started and then as we saw that shot right up at its peak um, that's about 814 now around about the 690 mark which is great and as you sort of tweak and adjust your uh, mass transit that can rise and fall and then for the traffic before it was 91 percent. now just think about all the work that we put into tweaking all the different parts of our transit system our roads our walking network our cycling network to now get to 93 percent. so once you get past sort of 80 percent it's diminishing returns really but all of that work has given us a two percent increase in traffic so i would say that is a job well done what do you reckon let me know in the comments below subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on the new dev diary deep dives we've been doing every monday looking at city skylines too and i'll see you for the next video take care have a great day Bye bye